Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So Samsung's One UI 7.0 isn't just about the surface level upgrades, it's packed with hidden features that gives you insane control over your phone looks, feels, and how it works. So whether you love deep customization or smooth usability, here are 10 underrated features, many powered by good look, that completely will level up your Galaxy experience. For all the features which I'm gonna show you in this video, you need an app called Good Lock. You can go ahead and download this from your Galaxy Store, Search for Galaxy Store. Now here you're going ahead and searching for Good Lock. Go ahead and open this app and install this app. Now once installed, go ahead and open it. And these are all the plugins we're gonna use from the Good Lock app. So once you're ready, let's start. So feature number one is where you can basically remove all these indicator icons at the top. So if you wanna remove the battery, the mobile signal, the Wi-Fi signal, or the sound icon here at the top, then let me show you how to do this. So for this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the app itself, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find Quick Star. From here, we'll go ahead and turn this feature on and we'll go ahead and find visibility of indicator icons. So now here you can go ahead and find all the system icons and the network information icons and choose what you wanna show and what you wanna hide. So say for example, if I wanna hide the mobile data signal, I can do that and that hides it. Let's say I want to hide the battery icon, that hides it as well once I switch it off. I can hide the volume as well and I can hide the Wi-Fi as well. So as you can see, I've hidden everything. So by using the Good Lock app, we're hiding the annoying indicator bar here at the top. This is great for running apps in full screen or playing games in full screen. So it basically gives a cleaner and more immersive experience for watching, gaming, or reading on your phone. Now, the second feature is where you can change your app switcher style via the Good Lock app. So you can customize the layout of your recent app screens to vertical stack, grid, or classic. So as you can see, currently it's on a vertical list. However, by default, it is at horizontal list, and you can change that to vertical, stack, or just have a list. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the app, you're looking for another app called Home Up. Now you wanna go ahead and switch this feature on, and you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see Task Changer, tap on this, turn this feature on, and you can go ahead and choose from all these available layout type. So currently by default it's on tilt stack. So this is how your app switcher is, which is the horizontal style. Next we can go ahead and choose the grid style, which becomes like this. Next we can go ahead and choose the vertical list, which becomes an up and down list. And lastly, you can go ahead and choose the slim list, which becomes like a mini list. So this is more like a minimalistic look. For those of you who are using the vertical list, you can go ahead and create a circular list. So the vertical list type changes to a circular style. So if you turn that feature on, and if you look at the app switcher, you can go ahead and see that it's in a vertical list and it's giving like a circular form to it. So this basically improves your multitasking by letting you switch apps in the way that suits you best. So the third feature is where you can change your notification animation via the Good Lock app. So if you wanna swap out the default notification slide down with a fun and fluid animation, then let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. From here, you wanna go ahead and open up a plugin called Edge Lighting Plus. Now you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on, and then you wanna go ahead and scroll down and then tap on Set Custom Style. Now here you can go ahead and customize your animation for your notification. So currently I have snowflakes. However, you can go ahead and choose flowers, stars, hearts, popcorn, snowflakes, raindrops, exclamation mark, clouds, and star. So you can go ahead and choose any style you like. Now here you can go ahead and choose the colors. Go choose advance, and you can go ahead and choose different effects. Maybe you want the snowflake effect on hearts. Popcorn effect, and so on. Let's go ahead and choose the hearts effect here as a raindrop. You can go ahead and choose small size, large sizes. You can choose the period. You can choose the amount, and you can choose if you want it to rotate. Now, once that's done, you can press done. And now you can press home 
And now when you get a notification on your screen, you get the notification here at the top, but you get these animations on your screen as well. So this basically makes your phone feel fresh and dynamic every time a message pops up and will make you smile each time. Now the fourth feature is your DIY home screen. So you can fully redesign your home screen, grid, icon size, layout spacing, and many more. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you'll need the Good Lock app. Open the Good Lock app. Now in the app, you're looking for another app called Home Up. Tap on that, turn this feature on, and then go ahead and tap on Home Screen. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find DIY Home Screen. Turn this feature on and then press Home. And now go to a blank screen on your home screen. Go ahead and long press on it. At the top right, you'll see DIY Home. Tap on this and now go ahead and customize your home screen. So you can go ahead and add avatars. You can add stickers. You can add shapes. You can add more shapes. You can add arrows, ticks, X. You can also add stamps, which you can get from the Play Store. If you swipe left, you can add text. You can add these patterns, stickers, and many more. So let me just quickly create one for you. So there you go, guys. You can basically create your very own home screen using DIY home screen. So this basically lets you create a personalized look that feels more organized and aesthetic for yourself. Feature number five is where you can create lock screen animation via the Good Lock app. So here, when you wake up your S25 Ultra, you can go ahead and create some animations to make it look more fancy. So this basically adds a stylish and a premium feel every time you wake your phone up. So let me show you how to create this lock screen animation. Now, first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the app, you're looking for the Wonderland plugin. Tap on that. Now here, you go ahead and find create your different lock screen effect. Tap on that. Tap on the new plus sign. Now go ahead and choose a wallpaper from your phone library. So for example, next go ahead and press close and then go ahead and choose your effect. So you can have a CRT monitor effect. You can have the pixelate effect. You can have a ripple effect, spear, warp, edge, blur, hexagon, slice, flip, slide, fluid. So let's just choose the pixel effect. Once you're happy, press close. And now go ahead and save this. Now go ahead and tap on set as wallpaper. You can go ahead and choose it for your lock screen and for your home screen, but we'll go ahead and choose the lock screen as we're doing the animation for our lock screen. We'll press home. We'll go ahead and lock the screen. Now we'll go ahead and wake it up. And as you can see, it has basically created an animation for you. Now feature number six is where you can create animated wallpaper for your home and your lock screen with a good lock app. So you can basically use a looped motion wallpapers that animate both on the lock screen and home screen. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the good lock app. Next you're opening up the wonderland filter. From here, tap on create your own moving wallpaper. Go ahead and tap on new. And now you can go ahead and choose a photo from your gallery or you can choose a color. So let's just go ahead and choose a gallery. So here we can go ahead and tap on image settings and we can enable some motion effect. So we can do some movement. So we can tap preview. And as you can see, it gives a motion effect. You can go ahead and tap on this plus sign here at the bottom right. Here you can go ahead and add images. You can add text. You can go ahead and add video. You can even add particle effects or you can have particle presets. So you can have like a snow effect or you can have a heavy rain effect or you can have bubbles, bouncing balls and spread rectangles. So let's just choose heavy snow for now. Tap preview. And once you're happy with this wallpaper which you've created, go ahead and tap on download and then go ahead and save this. This will now ask you if you wanna set this as your wallpaper. So we'll go ahead and tap on yes. And we want to go ahead and choose save wallpaper for our lock screen and home screen. So go ahead and choose that. Now press home. And as you can see, you now have a moving wallpaper for your home screen. When you lock your screen, you'll see that you'll have a moving wallpaper for your lock screen as well. 
So this basically brings your device to life with motion that's smooth and it's eye-catching for you. Feature number seven is where you can set wallpapers with AI Select. So with this feature, you can basically be browsing on the internet and you can use AI Select and basically set a wallpaper directly from their website. So with this way, you don't need to download that wallpaper. So this basically is a quick and smart personalization without needing to dig through the wallpaper folders. So let me show you how to do this. So here I'll go ahead and open up the Google Chrome app. Here I'll go ahead and search for wallpaper. I'll go into images and we'll just go ahead and choose a wallpaper which we like. So let's say for example, this one here. Now here, if I wanna save this as a wallpaper for my Samsung phone, I can go ahead and bring out the quick menu here, tap on AI select. And then this will basically automatically recognize this picture here. I can go ahead and tap on the three dots and I can go ahead and tap on set as wallpaper. Now, once I do this, this will ask me if you want to set it for my lock screen and home screen. So I'll say yes. I'll tap on done. I can go ahead and turn on the color palettes to match the notification panel and the quick panel menu, all the other apps and my icons as well. I can go ahead and apply palettes to my app icon and I can go ahead and choose all the colors I require. Now, once I'm happy, I can tap on apply and the wallpaper and color palettes has been applied. So once I press home, you'll see that wallpaper has been applied onto my Samsung phone. And plus my icons have also changed to match that color background. Now feature number eight is where you can zoom in and zoom out smoothly during your video recording. So with the update of the new One UI 7.0, it lets you smoothly zoom in, lets you pinch in or out while recording with zero lag or shutter. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the camera app. Here you wanna go ahead and switch to video recording mode. Go ahead and record. And now you'll notice this magnifying glass here. Go ahead and tap on this. And now you can go ahead and smoothly zoom in or zoom out. So this basically makes your video feel more cinematic and professional without any editing apps. Feature number nine is where you can customize your quick menu panel on your Samsung phone. So you can basically rearrange, rename, and fine tune your quick panel menu toggles with a new One UI tool. So let me show you how to do this. So first you can wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, then tap on the pencil icon here. Now you can go ahead and rearrange this or fine tune your quick panel menu. So you can go ahead and drag this, go ahead and take it up. You can go ahead and move anything anywhere you like. You can even expand this so to show more icons. And say, for example, if you bring down the panel menu by swiping right, and if you bring down the notification panel by swiping left, you can go ahead and make this all together. So if you swipe down on the quick panel menu, tap on the pencil icon, and then tap on panel setting, you can go ahead and choose together. And now if you press home and you bring down the quick panel menu, you'll see that your notification appears down here and your quick panel menu then appears just at the top. So to expand it, go ahead and just swipe down and you'll be able to see your quick panel menu settings. So this basically speeds up the access to your features you use most with a layout that's 100% yours. Feature number 10 is where you can customize your keyboard style via the Good Lock app. So here you can basically change your Samsung keyboard fonts, colors, background, and even the key shape. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're looking for this plugin called Keys Cafe, open that. And now here you wanna go ahead and tap on style your own keyboard, turn this feature on, then tap on it. Now from here, you can go ahead and style your keyboard. Go ahead and scroll down. These are all the recommendations that's given to you. Go ahead and tap on apply if you like the one that you've seen. If you tap on effects at the bottom, you can go ahead and choose the keyboard color effect. You can go ahead and choose the key color effect. You can go ahead and choose the key motions once it's pressed. If you tap on sound, you can go ahead and choose all the different sounds. So once you're happy, you can go ahead and tap on home, go ahead and open up your message app. And now as you can see, you have customized your keyboard style with the Good Lock app. So with this style, typing becomes more fun and stylish. It basically matches your phone's entire vibe. And that's a wrap on the 10 hidden features in One UI 7.0 you need to try right now. 
If you found something new or useful, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps the channel. And if you're into Samsung tips, hidden features and customization tricks, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.